I started typing all this, but then I realized we need to do some graphing would probably be the easiest way to do this. Um, so that's why I did a video. But defining the variables. So you got two types of stones. So that's going to be our variable. So I just said x equals turquoise stone type 1. Or you could just say stone 1, anything like that. Uh, y is your other stone. Don't know what kind of stone other than it's a second turquoise stone. So I just said turquoise stone type 2. You could just say second stone. Okay, and then we know, um, based on what it tells us up here, it wants she wants to give these to at least four friends. Okay, so if she wants at least four friends, then the total number of stones, so X represents the number of stone one, Y represents the number of stone two, has to be greater than or equal to four because she has at least four friends. Each one needs at least stone, one stone. Um, then we know that they sell for either $4 or $6 per stone, and she can't spend any more than 30. She has no more than $30 to spend. Because of that, we write this inequality. 4x, 4 times the price of first stone plus six dollars times the price of the second stone is less than or equal to 30 because it couldn't be any more than 30 which means it can be equal to it can be less than the easiest way i thought um in order to list possible solutions uh, you could just plug in points you could just plug and test them because um, it didn't technically say you had to solve the system but i think it's easiest if you solve it by graphing so in order to graph, I thought the easiest way would be make it in slope-intercept form. So get y by itself. All you have to do here is subtract x. So y is greater than equal to negative x plus 4. Here you had to subtract 4x first, but you still didn't have y by itself. So you had to divide by 6. You got y is less than or equal to negative 4, 6x plus 5. And reducing y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 5. Okay, and then we're going to graph. So our y-intercept for the first one, we're looking at y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 4. So we have a point at 4, and we're going down 1 to the right one, because so our slope is negative 1 over 1. So it looks something like that. I'll just make it go this way as well. Okay. And then we need to do some shading. So because we know this is greater than or equal to this line, our shading would be here. Okay, and then we need another line for the second system. So the second system, we came down here, we got y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 5. So 5 is our y-intercept. Um, so up here at five, we go down two to the right three. So let's see, down two to the right one, two, three. And then down two to the right three. So it looks something like that. Um, that might not be perfect, but it's pretty close. Um, and then we need to shade because in inequalities, uh -huh. when you have a linear inequality, you've got a shade to show the solution area. So our solution area here, um, it's less than or equal to this line. So our solution has to be shaded here. Okay, so it looks like none of the Okay, actually, this blue shading does intersect a little. If you notice, this blue shading is everything that's above this line. So our solution lies, so for part B, we did part A, writing the systems. Uh, I believe all you had to do for part A was this and this. Then for part B, you had to do, when you figured out where the shading intersects, where the blue and green both intersect. So if I were to erase... Uh, that, that, and that. Notice 
hopefully you notice that it intersects. We'll do light blue here. This is the intersecting region where the shading intersects. This is the solution to the system. So if you have to list three possible solutions, all you're doing is listing three possible points in that area. So if I were to notice uh, points, let me make this smaller. I notice the point and also anything on this blue or green line. Since those are solid lines, those are also solutions. Um, but I could put a point right here and it looks like that is point. Uh, my X is six. My Y is negative one. So that's an option. Six comma negative one. Um, I'll give you one more. Like I said, the, anything on the blue or green line works as well. So it looks like the blue line has a point here. It looks like it. So you've got zero comma four. And yeah, um, you just keep going like that to get one more point. I'm going to leave you there. But I'm sure there's alternate ways you could do it. That was the first way that came to my mind. But hopefully that helped.